Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I'm in Madison, Wisconsin at a Wisconsin Tesla Owners and Enthusiasts Meetup. And I'm here with my buddy Calvin, who uh, he's from the area, he's in engineering, and he actually got a job, and he's out there in the desert working for Tesla at the Gigafactory. So I was wondering if today I could just ask you a few questions. You could just tell us about your experiences. Sounds great. So. <laughs> yeah, sure. So I'm Calvin Claysmith. I uh, just graduated from UW Stevens Point last uh, spring and I'm going for a master's in manufacturing engineering at UW-Stout. Uh, I started at the Gigafactory at the end of January as a production engineer on the battery module line. So yeah. So how'd you make it from uh, Wisconsin to the middle of the desert? <laughs> it was interesting. So I was working at Donaldson Company in Stevens Point as a manufacturing intern and then I, I became a full-time engineer last February. And uh, I was doing stamping and there, there was an opening at the Gigafactory for a stamping engineer. So it worked out perfectly where, you know, I had the skill sets that they were desiring at the time. And uh, I ended up not going into the stamping position. They offered me a different position. But, you know, getting in the door is, uh, is all I was really looking for in the whole purpose. So, uh, yeah, it worked, out, it worked out great. It was like a six-week interview process. Working at the Gigafactory, you're like, oh, yeah, it's, it, it must be close to, like, a really big city and, like, like tons of stuff to do by the factory. But... I know we were talking a little bit earlier, there's, there's really not much out there. It's, it's literally in the middle of the mountains. What do you do for fun? I go hiking. Uh, I go to Lake Tahoe, which is like maybe half an hour away. So it's just gorgeous out there. Lots of trails to hike up and you can go camping, tons of campgrounds. So a lot of, uh, a lot lot of, of outdoor like stuff. That. Stuff to do while you're not working too. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Nice. And it's, it's, it's a milder winter than you, you have in the Midwest. You know, I'm used to like the negative 40s and the wind chill and like they'll get down to like maybe 20 degrees and uh, they'll get a little bit of snow you know maybe I think the worst snowstorm I while I was there is like maybe five inches but uh, so without getting in tell me what it's I mean can you walk around that place do you have to take electric cars from place to place there's now? a there's a lot of like four-wheelers around the plant and construction workers on four-wheelers just driving around honestly when I first got there for my interview I like it doesn't really feel that big but the more you work there and the more you're around it and the more you look at different angles from it, you're like, wow, you start to really see like the scale at which it's, it's building. And then once you think like, okay, where I'm standing in the parking lot is building or future building. And then over there is also future building. And, and you start to think you're like, and it's just insane because like it's, it's three floors too. You know, one thing at Tesla, at least from my previous jobs, is the quality standard is, is very high. So it's... it's when you're, when you're building volume production, you try to hold as, as tight a tolerance as you can. And, and at that point, you know, you're always trying to find interesting and intricate ways of keeping the same level or improving your level of quality while still pushing more volume through. So I think it, from a manufacturing standpoint, it's very solid. Uh, solid right now, call. a car is parking itself behind you. Yeah. I mean, literally. <laughs> You know, we've got some, some pretty cool technology involved. I mean, that, that's kind of the thing, is the technology in this car. Yeah. I, I know you're, you're, so you're, you're an engineer. You're not all a software engineer or electrical engineer. Do you ever get to work with those guys? I work with a lot of, like, controls engineers. Uh, I do some of the PLC programming here and there. Uh, so, I mean, that's more of on the manufacturing line. I don't really work with a lot of, like, the designers for the car, the software inside the car. That's more in, like, Palo Alto or California in general. Uh, but, yeah, maybe long term I might get to go out there. You never know. There's so many opportunities at Tesla right now for, you know, if you're a young engineer or if you're just getting out of college, like, they're looking for people all the time. The recruiters are always on, you know, uh, LinkedIn, like, scouring for finding engineers. I mean, it's always good to show passion for Tesla. Like, if you have a good passion and you have a good drive and a work ethic, that's mainly what they're looking for. You know, they're looking for driven people that are, are going to be able to put the 12-hour days, you know, five, six, seven days a week, depending on what it takes, uh, to get the job done. So it's, it's more of, like, if you show the passion, you show that you have some experience in the field and some know-how and, 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 and you're, you're not scared to take risks and, and, and you're, you, you're able to... Uh, able to solve problems in, a, in an interesting and maybe different way than other people would, would solve the same issue and if you're if you're a good team member you have to you have to work uh, with other people quite often so if you're able to work with people on a team that's also a plus uh, so I just wanted to say thank you to Calvin um, for uh, getting to spend a little bit of time 
uh, with us today. And hey, good seeing yeah, you again. Yeah, nice seeing you. So, until next time, stay charged up.